Road conditions during a snowstorm are extremely important to us because our families travel the roadways as well. We are thankful for your patience through the winter and ask that you slow down, turn on your headlights, and give way to our plows and all other emergency vehicles. Coach, congratulations, season sweep of the Badgers. That has to feel really good. It does, it does. They play good, uh, second half. First half was a little rough. We couldn't make any shots. Uh, they did a nice job of getting physical with us. Uh, we just didn't come out ready to play with the physicality and that they did. So we were you know, down by two at halftime, not playing good at all. But came out the second half, held them 10 points the second half, and that's just uh, a lot for having some senior leadership. The guys realize that that's how we get back in the game and play better was playing defense. So, what were specifically were the halftime adjustments that you guys made? We really didn't make a lot because we we're just missing shots. We had a lot of open shots. They just weren't going in. It wasn't like we took bad shots. It just didn't go in. Uh, in the second half, we, we did some good things. But Bryce did an excellent job of controlling the boards, bringing the guard, and just working hard out there. And I think everyone did. Austin was controlling a lot down there too, with having a size advantage. Um, so we did a lot of nice things for him. But nothing that I did, particularly as a, as a coach, they just came out and played better the second half. For you guys, it usually, the, you guys, it's usually how Matt and, and how, uh, how Rob you're playing the team goes. But they had kind of off game tonight. It was other guys that stepped right. up. Have you been looking for that this year, other guys to step up? Yeah, it's been kind of uh, few and far between, you know, to be honest. They play hard and they play good defense. Uh, but offensively, it was nice to have some of those guys do a little better job of getting eight to nine points instead of two and three points. Um, so it's been nice that they did that. And so I have a team effort tonight uh, for the six or the seven, eight guys that played a lot of minutes tonight for us. So. What, what does Bryce bring to the team? Uh, a little tenacity, a little fire. As you can tell, he likes to get a little physical out there. Uh, I appreciate that. He was going to maintain it. Uh, but he did a nice job. He, he worked his butt off today. Uh, I commend him. That was his best game by far, and he's ready to go. He, he likes playing against Berkshire, whether it's football, or basketball, or baseball. So he came out and played good. Last question for you guys now, kind of heading down the home stretch here uh, of the season. How has your team improved throughout the, throughout this year? We've done some some good things. Uh, we're still trying. I mean, we're as far as varsity players, we have just a couple, and that would be uh, Bryce plays some, Matt plays some, and so do Robbie. So we're still getting our, our feet under us. And, you know, usually we have it after seven or eight games. Now we're in game 12, 13, 14, so it's the end of the season. Um, I'm just hoping we can figure it out here this last month uh, and play, because the CDC, we got some tough games in the last month. We have some non-conference games, winnable games, but we got to play good. Coach, thanks so much. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm standing at what used to be Orchard Hills Golf Course. We are transforming this habitat back to a more natural state. Reforestation, wetland and stream restoration, and meadow enhancements just touched the surface of our efforts. Come out to Orchard Hills Park and witness the transformation for yourself.